Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. Got asked this question this morning. How soon after taking a new job should you announce that new job or update your LinkedIn profile? Here's the answer. So I put some notes down for me to think about when I'm sharing this answer with you. First of all, if you're hesitant to announce your new job on LinkedIn, one of the thoughts that comes to mind is, were you hesitant to take the job? Are you excited about this job? Is this the best job ever for you? Is it the right fit for you? Is it the right organization, the right culture? Does it all align well? If this job aligns well with you in all respects, then why are you hesitant to announce it? Now, there may be some reasons, and we'll talk about a few of those, but if you're not hesitant to take the job, first and foremost, I would tell you to think this way. Don't be hesitant to update your LinkedIn profile. Now, let's, let's go a little deeper, though, because there may be some reasons why you're hesitant to announce it publicly through your LinkedIn profile. Here's one more point. When you add that new role to your LinkedIn profile, you'll notice that when you add a new role, that down at the bottom of the screen is an option that says share with my network. This is basically what we used to be referred to as broadcast it yes or no. So when you add that new role to your LinkedIn profile, you don't have to broadcast it. So you could let the viewers of your profile discover this rather than tell your entire network that you had this new job. So this could help alleviate some of the pressure or fear of adding a new a position to your LinkedIn profile. In summary, if you're serious about your career shift and your career transition, and you're making really good decisions because you did your research and you do, did the due diligence, and you know about the end, any NDAs that you have or any non-competes that you have in place, then you should be prepared to publicly announce your changes to your career and to that new employer on your LinkedIn profile immediately. Now, if you're not clear all about all that, then maybe you do need to pause for a moment and get clear. But as soon as you're clear, as soon as you're ready to let the world know that you've taken this new fantastic job, then update your LinkedIn profile proudly. And by the way, that doesn't mean just add the new job to your experience section. That also means go back and look through all of the other content and make sure you remove all references to the prior employer. Your contact information, anytime you reference that company in your about section, even in your prior experience sections, and your, new, your current position now becomes a prior position when you add the new one, Make sure all references to that employer, that company, to their brand is removed. Whitewash all that and then make your profile boldly and proudly in your contact information, your headline, your about section, all about the new role that you have and the company that you work for Focus on the people that you serve. I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. Hope these ideas are helpful for you as you transition into your next job.